How's it going, you guys? AZ Player 21 back again with another episode of our UFC save in WMMA5. And here today we have UFC Fight Night Vieira versus Costa, a middleweight main event live from Arizona. Uh, big prelims also are scheduled. We are just two episodes away from UFC 300. 10 title fights on that pay per view card. It is sure to be a big one. Appreciate you guys for watching, whether it is on YouTube or Twitch. If uh, you haven't already, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Links are down in the description below. Got a lot more WMMA5 and Out of the Park Baseball 23 episodes coming your way. But let's get right into it. Our rankings update. Sergey Spivak in the top 10 at heavyweight. Brett Martin moves down a little bit. At nothing at light heavyweight or middleweight. At welterweight, Vicente Luque is now number one despite there being an actual champion. He will be fighting for the title at some point in the near future. At super lightweight, we got a couple new faces. Themba Garimbo is behind Anthony Pettis despite having beaten him. <clears throat> at lightweight, Alexander Hernandez is into the top 10, switches places with Eddie Alvarez. At featherweights, Chase Hooper, now number six. Chad Mendez, number 12. At bantamweights, McDonald moves down a little bit. At flyweight, nothing going on. At featherweight, a lot of things happening because Cyborg retired. I was able to convince her out of retirement. She will be coming back. She will be fighting Amanda Nunes for the featherweight title in the near future. Nothing at bantamweight. At flyweight, Shandy Aguda is into the top 10. Miranda Maverick down to number 15. And nothing going on at strawweight. Now let's get it going. Vieira versus Costa. Of course, in Arizona, let's go ahead and get it going. Yusuf Zalal taking on Julio Cesar Neves in the featherweight division. A very, very stacked featherweight division. And it is Yusuf Zalal getting the TKO in less than a minute. He is now 5-2 in his UFC career. Moving right along. We have Eric, your boy, Anders taking on Julius Anglicus in the light heavyweight division. And it is Anglicus getting it done via submission. 3-2 now in his UFC career. Danny Roberts taking on Eliseu Zaleski Dos Santos. And the 175 division, veterans of the octagon, both of these guys. And it is Danny Roberts getting a knockout in round number one. Eight and nine now in his UFC career. Needed that when he was on a two-fight losing streak. Miroslav Bros taking on the Bear Tim Caron in the middleweight division and it is Karen or Karan getting it done via unanimous decision two and one now in his UFC career Mike King taking on Salamu Abdurakmanov in the 185 division as well and it is Mike King the underdog getting a unanimous decision victory here in the middleweight division three straight losses but he gets one back Moving along, Alex Pajeda taking on Phil Haas in the middleweight division. Pajeda, of course, the guy who is known for having knocked out Israel Adesanya, and he does the same to Phil Haas here today. Less than a minute, and he knocks him out. He's now 1-1 one one in his UFC career after losing, getting sent down to WEC, and then getting brought right back up. <clears throat> Moving right along, we have Alexander Illich taking on Idris Gezelov in the middleweight division. Gezelov just got a new contract and off that new contract gets a submission victory in round number two, the 15th of his career. Alexa Kamer taking on Ryan Spann in the light heavyweight division. Spann a big favorite in this one and he knocks out. My Alexa is trying to say something to me that's hilarious. Um, he knocks out Kamer in round number two. Um, he was ranked for quite a while, but he was on three straight losses. Um, might be ranked after that one. I'm not 100% sure. <clears throat> Justin Ledette taking on Marcin Tabura here in the heavyweight division, I believe. Heavyweight division, a pick em between these two, and it is Justin Ledette getting it done via knockout here today. 4-4 four four now in his career. Alexander Gladkov taking on Marcelo Golm in the heavyweight division. Gladkov, a huge underdog, and Golm does knock off, uh, knock out, I should say, Alexander Gladkov in round number one. 
Moving right along, Andre Touchy Feely taking on Luis T. Greg Gomez in the featherweight division. Gomez, a huge favorite in this one, and it is Gomez getting the knockout victory over Andre Feely. Feely before this was number 18, Gomez was number 17. So a nice showing there for T. Greg Gomez. He's eight and one now in his UFC career. Lara Procopio taking on Irene Aldana in the bantamweight division. Procopio all the way up to number 14 in the division taking on Aldana. And it is Procopio submitting Irene Aldana here today. Might see her in the top 10. Todd Duffy taking on Derek the Black Beast Lewis in our next contest. Derek Lewis, number 17 in the division after a win over Dennis Goltsoff. On the other side, you have Todd Duffy, number 14 in the division, coming off a win over Dustin Jacoby. And it is the Black Beast, <laughs> Derek Lewis, getting a TKO victory over Todd Duffy in round number two. I mean, Derek Lewis just keeps on trucking. A very important fight in the flyweight division. Ronnie Sade taking on Jussier Formiga da Silva. I mean, De Silva getting a win over Alex Perez, but Sade, undefeated in his UFC career, 7-0. And if he beats Hussier De Silva, he will be fighting for the flyweight championship. And it is Ronnie Sade with the unanimous decision victory. He will be fighting for the flyweight championship in the near future. He was a big underdog, but he got it done. All right, co-main event time. Kamaru Usman taking on Albert Einstein Tumanoff. Tumanoff coming off one, two, three, four, five straight victories. On the other side, you have Usman, who has not been struggling, but he's coming off a loss for sure to Kevin Lee. Before that, wins over Duffy and Covington. A long way away from his title reign at welterweight. Usman and Tumanoff in the co-main event. And it is the Nigerian Nightmare submitting Albert Tumanoff in the first round. So Usman getting a big win here today. And he wants to fight Ponza Nibio, of all people. Interesting call out. As we arrive at our main event of the evening, two Brazilians going at it in the middleweight division. Rodolfo Vieira coming off two straight wins. Fluffy Hernandez and Castelo Van Stinas. He will be taking on... Paulo Costa, number two in the division, coming off two straight wins, Tavares and Brunson. It is our main event of the evening. Let's get it going. The winner of this one is fighting for the middleweight title. What I'm thinking might happen, uh-oh, Vieira gets a takedown, leg lock, can't get it. Costa going for an arm. He doesn't get it. <clears throat> Both guys going after their jujitsu early on. Double underhooks here for Costa. Costa blocks the takedown attempt. Leg lock. Wow! Ladies and gentlemen, the referee calls a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 46 seconds of the first round. Your winner by submission due to a leg lock and now the new number one contender in the middleweight division is Rodolfo Vieira. Unbelievable job by him. Getting it done. He is finally going to fight for the middleweight championship. Congratulations to Rodolfo. He's calling out Fabian Edwards, but he's going to be fighting for the title. Less than 6,000 in Arizona coming to watch this one. An absolutely amazing card. Let's go ahead and see who gets our bonuses this week. Uh, did not really have that good of a fight. So we're going to go ahead and give it to... Uh, we'll give it to the ladies, fight of the night. And then let's see. First round finishes. Zalal. We have Roberts. We have Pajeda. We have Marcelo Golm. We have Vieira. We have Usman. And we have Gomez. Congratulations to all those guys. Still made a healthy profit. Highest paid fighters of the night are Costa, Vieira, Usman, and Duffy. Appreciate you guys. As always, I'm AZ Plyo 21 We are just two episodes away from UFC 300. Our next episode is going to be uh, UFC Fight Night Laramie versus Siler. And after that, it's UFC 300. 
Appreciate you guys as always. Like the video and subscribe, and I will see you at the fights.